Rocky Marciano was one of the uh, toughest men ever to fight. I don't know if anyone realizes he was 189 pounds. And in fact, his fight against the light heavyweight champion Archie Moore, his last fight, he was outweighed by the light heavyweight, Archie. But he was rock solid. This, a good name, Rocky, or Rocco as it was. Charlie Goldman had taught him to get low in a crouch and really throw from his arse, as Charlie pronounced it. But he had power coming up with it, coming up from the floor with power. He'd hit you anywhere. Hit you in the arms. Hit you on the soles of your feet if he could find them. But he was one tough guy. The only problem with him in terms of greatness, in terms of rating him, is his six greatest fights that we remember. Joe Walcott won, Joe Walcott two, Ezra Charles won, Ezra Charles two, Joe Lewis and Archie Moore. His opponents almost averaged 40 years of age. You know, so they, he was not meeting and beating other greats in their greatness. But take nothing away from this man. This was 49 wins, 43 knockouts. This was one great fighter. And he had a punch from hell called the Susie Q. It was his right hand. But that wasn't his only punch. He would swarm all over you just throwing punches. And I find it almost interesting that the one picture that they have of him hitting Walcott in the 13th round, and had that fight been today, it would have been 12 rounds, and Walcott would have won. But in the 13th, what they used to call the championship rounds, 13, 14, 15, the picture you always see is Walcott with his face contorted. That's not the knockout punch. and is being sold as the picture of the knockout punch. That was just another punch by Marciano that twisted Joe Walcott's face into pudding. He hit that hard. 